Hey guys, thanks for joining. My name's Andrew with Hit Tracks. Uh, we're excited to bring to you a new Hit Tracks tutorial series where we're going to focus in on one part of the software here and show you the ins and outs so you understand what's going on and hopefully you're able to use the system a little bit more effectively. Um, today, we're just going to focus on the immediate feedback and what happens in a training session uh, and the things that you can look for as a player to help yourself just while you're hitting. So we're going to go to Administrator and we're going to go to Users Reports. Got my guy Kyle here, he's got a profile and we're going to put him into a session. We could do just him or we can add some other players and hit play ball. And once you get to this point, there's not a lot of interaction that you have to have. You get the feedback of the strike zone, the point of impact. You'll see the hit data at the top of the screen. And the players, all that needs to be done is when they hop into the cage, just need to indicate their name and it will change the field size uh, based on their skill level. Okay, so we'll get a pitch coming in here. We've got a machine that's gonna throw. So you'll see the ball come in. And in the top right corner, you'll see the pitch location. So that was pretty close to middle, middle, just up the path of the ball. And on the top left corner, you get the pitch velocity, which right now is recorded at the plate. But I can also hit our settings and select the mound distance, 54 feet. And we're also going to get a hand velocity, depending on wherever the mound was, if, if you have a live pitcher or a machine to get a more accurate reading there. Okay, so Kyle's gonna hit a few and we'll just start to see the ball flight. Again, everything you're seeing here is displaying in 0.2 seconds after the pitch. So there's a ground ball to the left side. 92 miles an hour is the exit velocity, negative 10 degree launch angle. That's a nice cut. You see the 16 degree launch angle there is green. That's because that was a line drive trajectory. The distance is the first impact uh, to the ground, along with a point value that goes into a fun competitive game. And you can see down here in the bottom right hand corner, we have our point of impact chart. That's showing how far out in front or deep is Kyle making contact with the ball. So you can see on an inside pitch, he's pretty far out in front. That's probably not a bad thing. Nice ground ball up the middle, saw that one just a little bit deeper. All right, there's a good one to end on. So a nice double in the gap. So we have a collection of stats here. You, you have this immediate feedback. And again, this stuff is coming right away. Um, a huge benefit. I think one of the most underrated things is the use of the strike zone and the result of the hit. So you see double line drive to center field. People get excited about that. The kids really engage with that. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, we are collecting some data from the session uh, or displaying some of the data. I should say we're collecting all of it. Um, but on the bottom, I can start at batting average and whatever stat I select here will in, uh, display in the strike zone in the top right corner. So we can see Kyle's line drive percentage in different quadrants of the zone or his hard hit average. The hard hit average is uh, any ball hit in the top 10% of his six month maximum exit velocity. So if his maximum velocity was 100, Anytime he hits at 90 plus, it would qualify as a hard hit. So you do get a good collection of data here. I like to put on the average exit velocity, uh, but you will see the current maximum and see if you hit a PR as well. So uh, why don't we take a couple more swings and as we do that, I'm gonna pull up our video chart or our video where we can actually see a video of every single swing that Kyle takes. And down below, we can have the point of impact chart, we can pull up the spray chart, whatever we wanna do. So this video, this video is recording a two second clip of every single swing. And we'll expand on this and how to view all the videos later. Um, but you do get in session, uh, which if you're a coach outside of the cage, you can look and actually pull up a hit that occurred to do some quick and hard. So if we like a swing or maybe we hate a swing, we can hit this baseball icon and pull up that video to do some quick review. And you can see Kyle actually can still keep hitting while we're looking at this video. And we just hit the record button to go back to the live stream. 
The last thing to wrap up here, you see the, uh, the ranking. Uh, that is the player's percentile ranking for players their age. All right, why don't you end us with a bomb? Let's see what you got. So Kyle's in the 90th percentile for exit velocity for his age. Oh, and he rolled it over foul. Classic. Okay, all right. He's, uh, that was a good session, though. So he's, he's in the 90th percentile for exit velocity for his age and the 81st percentile in distance. The higher, the better there. Gives you a good baseline of where you are, especially as a younger player scene, where you stack up among other players your age. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with more. My name's Andrew. We'll catch you out there.